Welcome back. So I'm gonna go over some slabs that have showed up in the ma shown up in the mail. Some obviously, as you can see with the card in front of you, some stuff I am going to flip, and a number of items that are going right into the PC. But let's start off the stuff that is not going to hang around very long, and that is, first one is a 1986 Topps traded Barry Bonds rookie card. Pick this up for, I believe, a steal. Nice PSA grade of 8. So, that hopefully should be a nice quick turnaround for a few extra dollars to add to the PC. This one I may hold on to. Jimmy Dykes, 1935 Diamond Stars. Philly Boy, may hold on to. It's a 4.5 solid grade for 35 Diamond Stars. So, it may, may go, may stay, I'm not sure. This one is definitely heading out the door. Got one person in particular I'm thinking of, but you never know um, if he wants it or not. But really good price on this. Post serial cards, really tough, tough cards to get any sort of numerical grade on. And this one is in a four and a half. Absolutely fantastic condition on the card. 1962 post Roberto Clemente. And now for some PC editions. 1960 tops, Johnny Clipstein. Don't see a lot of his stuff. See it every once in a while. But relief pitcher. Imagine him coming in for Koufax. During a game, would be interesting. Um, this is one price is right so I picked it up um, because of the guy on the right they tend to be a fair amount of money Carl Hubble and Morris Arnovich for me 1941 double play and a three and a half so really good price on this one lowest I've seen in a long time on eBay so when it popped up I bought it same seller also had this one 1941 play ball Morris Arnovich and a six and the Morris Arnovich 41 play balls are really just stupid kinds of money sometimes. So when this came up as a 6, I was really happy about buying it for the price I did. Now we got a couple additions to the Rosen PC, the autographed part of it. 53 Bowman Color, Auto. Card's in decent shape, a little miscut, but nice pen signature on there most likely period and a very nice 1952 tops Rosen auto redback obviously more common so really nice addition to the Rosen collection and then something I don't pick up too often but when the price is right I will from time to time Barney Pelty the Yiddish Curver T206 Piedmont back and a one and a half. It's a very nice looking one and a half. Really nice centering on it. If you look at the subgrades, seven on the centering. Corners and surface are really what got it. Corners actually don't look as bad as you'd think. And the surface actually looks it presents well. Let's just put it that way. But underrated pitcher from the turn of the last century. So we have quite a few various additions to the PCs. I should take this out of the bag that it was sent in so you can get a better look at the card. Uh, 41 play ball, really tough as was discussed during a Greenberg conversation with the copyright only older stock but again this in a six really nice addition especially that older stock is really tough to get good grades on and then better view of the Arnovich Hubble 41 double play a three and a half and a good looking three and a half good centering on it 
really presents well. An Eclipstein slab. Again, it was a random one. Happened to pop up, so I got it. And again, you have the slabs. This one in the middle, the Jimmy Dykes, I may hold on to. Local Philly boy. He's buried like 10 minutes down the road. Um, Clemente definitely going out. Bond's definitely going out. So, nice little variety there. Just for the Clemente, collect Clemente collectors that I know watch. There's a closer look of the card. Don't see examples like that very often. So, that's a, those are the slabs I've been able to pick up as of late. Um, again, got very lucky on a few of them. Um, negotiated on a couple of them. Um... I'm really happy to add um, these cards to the collection. This fills two holes in the signed Rosen collection. This, or these are upgrades for Arnovich. Clipsy I didn't have. I didn't have this back for the Pelty. So overall, new or upgrades for me across the board, which is always a nice slab day to have. And I hope that you find some of this stuff at least a little interesting. And until next time, please remember to collect what you love and enjoy what you collect. And don't let anybody, especially the market or YouTuber, dictate that to you. Such as this. And be active. Have fun and be active in this community. Find your way of participating. Whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. Because the more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one. And bye for now.